There it goes. Okay, so we'll be recording this session. Okay, thank you, Nicole. So welcome everybody. Um, I wanna introduce my co-host, Winnie Zhang, and our two special guests, Regina Gong and Jeff Gallant. And I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Hey, um, I work at Spark on the open education team and also am a conference team member. Good morning, everyone. My name is Regina Gong. I am the OER and student success librarian at Michigan State University. And I am also one of the members of this year's steering committee. I'm Jeff Galat. I'm the program director of Affordable Learning Georgia. Um, you may know Affordable Learning Georgia from Tiffany Reardon, who is on the steering committee. Uh, I'm on the future of OER committee. I jump in the Discord from time to time, and I ran carry out, carry, Cara OER key last night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone, for being here. I should say I'm Amy Tan, and I'm also on the steering committee. Um, and I'm, I've been having so much fun hosting the early show for you this week. So we're going to start with our mugs. We all brought a mug for show and tell, so we'll, we'll display our mugs for you. Regina, do you have, you have a special one, right? And Jeff, everybody? Okay, so we're going to tell you the story of our mugs, and I'm going to ask Regina to go first, because hers is special. You're muted, Regina. Okay, so can you all see that, how beautiful that espresso um, is and latte? So this one is um, a mug that I got when I went um, to Milan last year for the Open Ed Global because, um, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, you really need to see all the layers of the, you know, when you make the, the, the cappuccino and all that. So you need like a clear um, mug, so yeah. And I finally gave in and I bought an espresso. So, <laughs> so this I want to go at, oh, I want to go after Regina because it's very related. So this is a swag mug from Cooper N. They are the French uh, library organization. So all, all around France, they have something that is a lot like our Georgia organization, Galileo, which does electronic resources for everybody out there. They wanted to start an OER program. So they contacted my director and said, hey, you've got something going on and you're a lot like us. Why don't you come over to Paris and present uh, to members of the, uh, uh, basically the steering committee there. And so, yeah, they had an open access day. And so they had me as the guest speaker and uh, it was really cool learning their perspective on stuff because in France, education is a lot more affordable for many reasons and textbooks there are more affordable. So when they approach OER, they're approaching it more from a public good standpoint, more from a like cultural awareness standpoint, like we are bringing like French ideas out there, French culture, uh, geography. So it was really neat to see a, a, a good take on OER that wasn't centered on cost. Okay. All right, I'll go next. So uh, again, I said on the Tuesday show, that was a different dog mug. I'm one of those annoying dog people that tell everybody I have dogs and have like 10 mugs that say I'm a dog mom. So uh, this one says, my kids have paws. And again, I bought this mug when I only had one dog. It's like foreshadowing that I was gonna get another dog randomly uh, during finals week. So now I have two dogs in this mug. It actually makes sense. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, wonderful stories. My, mine is just kind of silly today. I, I picked a, a, a holiday mug. This is a, a mug that my mother actually gave to my children one year for Christmas so that they could have hot cocoa. So, and so as you can see, we're all dressed festively today just for fun. Um, and I see uh, Nicole is there in her festive sweater and she has a mug. She has her open education mug. So we're happy to, that Nicole was able to join us this morning. And yeah, Jeff, show us your shirt. Yeah, so um, my Christmas shirt this year 
is a dog that looks a lot like Rocket, my dog, with a Santa hat on. We celebrate Christmas here, and we celebrate Diwali. Um, my uh, wife's side of the family is uh, first-generation Indian American, so we um, are already doing some Diwali festivities right now, trying to light the place up over the weekend. And because of COVID, we can't really get together with the whole family, which is tough. But uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's it's basically the the big holiday of the year. So yeah, so, yeah, we're getting a little head start here on our holidays, um, just because we're working remotely, and and it, it's it's. It's fun to, to start thinking about, um, you know, the, the, the traditions that make these times special, um, especially since, you know, a lot, a lot of us aren't going to be able to gather with, with friends and family. So, so we just thought we would bring a little festivity to your day. Um, yeah. If you wore a festive shirt, um, then, you know, feel free to, to um, show us. Don't, don't feel pressured to turn your camera on unless you want to. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna chat a little bit with Regina and Jeff, and then we're gonna ask all of you if you brought a mug to to share your mug and your story if you want to. Um, but first, I want to give I want to give Jeff a little bit of time to talk about some of the wonderful activities that he's been supporting this week. Well, um, the big one has been Kara Oyarki. Uh, we. Uh, <laughs> I've always liked going to it ever since I started going to the open education conference. Uh, I think, I don't think I was in that one in 2014 because that was kind of like hotel room based, but then uh, starting in 2015 um, there were the many pun filled uh, events like OER Garitas and OER Yoki slash Karaoke that happens and it, it really brought people together this is where I've met a lot of people and got to know like their personalities and and just music tends to bring out uh your fun side so it's it's really nice to just kind of have that way of getting to know each other so when I was asked to be the karaoke host this year I was like yeah absolutely I had no idea how to do it um there were a lot of technical issues last night, but it didn't really matter. So like if, if you're gonna, if you're thinking of going on Zoom karaoke with random people and you know, because you love the idea of singing your song in front of somebody, it's not a great way to do that. But if you have a whole bunch of people around that you know, and they're your friends and you just love them all, then it's super fun. Like seeing Regina, seeing what's going on last night, it was just so great. Uh, Daniel, uh, who is in the chat too, was like superhero of karaoke last night. Um, he sang uh, King George's uh, song from Hamilton. And then he got an encore, a literal encore, where we asked him to sing it again. And then we sang a little bit along at the end. Uh, and then uh, Nicole beckoned him back into the room to sing uh, Friends in Low Places, which he did last year at karaoke too. So in uh, Zoe Wake Hyde uh, showed up to sing um, from Rebus um, with uh, her friends Maya, who was uh, dancing in the background. Uh, Raya Samet was the first singer. She sounded awesome. She sang and um, everything went wrong with the tech, but she still sounded great. Um, we had uh, the cover of Johnny Cash's Hurt, which kind of like toned down everything for a little bit. And then uh, we talked about like remix culture and covers. That's one cool thing about karaoke online. So if you were Mo last year doing the karaoke stuff at the front of the bar, trying to get everything arranged, uh, scheduling people uh, that you can't talk with everybody that way, but you're in this little conversation in karaoke when you're online, cause you're all connected through microphones so you can immediately start talking about your performance after you could talk about the song that was a cool thing about it so that was it was a ton of fun this microphone was in front of me last night and it was disconnected and I didn't know so you all heard like a terrible laptop microphone from me <laughs> no it's 
fantastic and i really admire all the people who who put themselves out there i mean that that's that's courageous and it's all it's fun and it and it, it is um beautiful to see in this community that and and also you know everybody last night sounded fantastic but you know part of karaoke is also not being the best singer in the room so um i i look forward to to more of these these fun um fun times when we can all relax together. Um, and Regina, um, do you want to talk to us a little bit about, you have a long history with open ed and, um, and, and, and you, you kicked us off at the welcome on Monday. So do you want to talk to us a little bit about your, your thoughts and reflections this morning? Yeah. Um, yes. So not, not very long history. I started in 2015 um, attending open ed but i feel that that you know the this this year really brought it it's it's different because i was in the 2018 and 2019 program committee um for open ed so we you know we had a chance to um quote unquote shape the conference and all that and it was you know and it was different from the way we conducted it before and certainly now where it is much more community led so um I, I think all of us were pretty nervous in the steering committee because you know this is our first virtual conference and we don't know how it will turn out um, as much as we've worked really really hard in making this um, a more diverse inclusive um, participatory conference you know there's still some things that we were kind of like, oh, you know, did we do enough? Or are there going to be like some catastrophic things that's going to happen? Fortunately, um, you know, all those little fires we were able to put out. And really, I, I don't know, I've met a lot of new people, like um, first time attendees in all the um, sessions that I've moderated and um, in tea time, because I, you know, I also um, am in charge of like tea time, and I did a, quite a few, and I think it was it was really well participated. I am really amazed by the level of participation of um, our attendees. So I thought, oh my, they probably have like this Zoom fatigue, because you know we use Zoom at work. And certainly all throughout this conference and but I think people are just so um, so excited to to have that connection because you know we are not meeting online and I hope you found that you found that um, connection as you engaged with each other all throughout the week. So I'll stop there. Thanks so much Regina and thanks so much for your energy. Um, you, you, you bring a life to this conference and to the community and um, we really appreciate your work on the steering committee. <laughs> and, and Jeff, um, I was saying to you earlier, um, you, you also bring a life and an energy to this community and um, I have really uh, enjoyed seeing you in, in the chat and in Discord and, and really um, engaging and, and um, such a such a lovely way. So thank you. Thank you to both of you. Um, and thanks, I think, Amy. sorry. Oh, I just said thanks. <laughs> um, so I think we have about 10 minutes left. And um, I think I forgot to give Winnie a chance to tell you about some fun activities coming up today. So I'm going to let yeah. her do that right now. Yes, so we have right before the plenary a spiral journal at tea time so you can bring some pen and paper along with the pencil uh, or pen paper pencil whatever you use tea coffee uh, and they'll do spiral journals so it's focusing on reflection while allowing individuals to compose responses thoughtfully and calmly in writing. This will actually be led by Maha and Mia as well as Regina of course the host of tea time. Uh, and then we'll go into Dungeons and Dragons once more. So bring, uh, if you've played before, we're, we're gonna try to leave a slot open for them because there's similar characters, I believe in the second version. 
Uh, so it, this, you should note that it may be moved to Saturday afternoon, but I know D&D fans don't care about that. They just want it to start. So uh, go ahead and check out the session description. They're using Roll20 uh, and, and you'll be able to join them on their D&D adventure they worked on. That sounds super fun. And if it does get moved to Saturday, maybe I can join in. We'll see. <laughs> Me and D&D, yes. My kids rolled. That was one of the things that we did during the, the quarantine was we, we tried to do a family D and D. And so now we all have characters. It's really interesting. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh yeah. Rolling a character takes a day, right? Like yeah. that's, that's just getting started. Sometimes I've seen two days where people are rolling their characters before we even get going. Yeah. Oh, and also, um, one other thing is the closing reception. I totally missed that. So obviously, very big social event um, is the closing reception. Uh, so if you're able to make it at 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, we will be um, hosting that. Yeah, don't forget. Don't forget the closing reception and the, the plenary. I usually wait till the end of the show to, to remind you about the plenary. But today, I, I do want to fe really feature it. It's, it's going to be at 11 central standard time and at noon eastern time and um the topic will be the future of open ed it'll be similar to um, the community calls where we'll, we will be seeking to engage the community to to think about where where we go from this conference what what comes next and how do we get there and we really want this to be um you know we, we need to have the community uh, energy. We need to keep it going. So I hope you'll all be able to join us and, and um, participate in that. Um, so is, does anybody, did anybody bring your, your mug today? Do you want to um, show us your mug and tell us a story about your mug? We do have time for that. Um, I should also mention, oh, hey, there's somebody. Hey, uh, my name is Ryan. Good to meet everyone. Uh, big supporter of OER. I work for the Michelson 20 mm Foundation. Uh, my mug is a Bartlett for America mug, um, which if anyone's watched the West Wing, um, President Bartlett, um, you know, it is the season. Um, and I didn't realize that it was festive shirt day, but um, I did wear my octopus sweater today. So um, yeah, that's all I got. Nice, nice. And we should thank the Michelson Foundation um, for they, they they made scholarships available for many, many people to attend this year. And so we, we are grateful for that. Thank you, Ryan, for being here. Patricia, do you have a mug? Yep, I have a mug. Um, this is a mug that a student gave me. It's very it's kind of hard to see. But this is made of pictures that make letters. And it actually spells out my last name, Lynn. It's beautiful. This is a student who I had in first year writing and who kept coming back to see me the entire time. I actually will be officiating her wedding next summer. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's incredible. I love that. Wonderful stories. Um, Dawn, do you have a mug? Do have a mug. Um, this is just a simple Ray Dunn. I don't know if you can see it. It says um, spice cider because that is one of my favorite things this time of year as it gets a little bit cooler. And I didn't wear a festive shirt, but I do have on Christmas tree earrings. I don't know if you can see them. They kind of dangle. And y'all, the octopus, if you have not watched my octopus teacher, the documentary that was on Netflix, I think. <laughs> changed my world y'all i looked at my husband i don't mean to offend anybody i said that's it octopus is off the menu forever now you may never eat one of these amazing creatures oh. again does any i haven't i haven't seen it it's on netflix okay beautiful to put it on my list um hi cassandra hello so this is my mug. It says fictional character on it. Um, and it is from the Changing, Hand, Changing Hands bookstore in Phoenix. And I bought it after the end of week sessions for open ed last year, which was my first open ed and was a little adventure I planned for myself. So it is very tied to my open ed memories of the oh. past. 
Perfect for the final day of the conference. <laughs> Hi, Melanie. Hi. Um, the mug, my favorite mug and the one I have uh, right now, it says reading is sexy. Um, the story behind that is that, uh, well, I'm a librarian, but also that um, my, my mom gave it to me. Um, she, uh, she, I got my love of reading from her. And when she saw this mug, she thought, yeah, my daughter should have this. So and I've been using it for, I don't know, like five years now. <laughs> well, I saw, I saw Regina react she, she reacted immediately because she's, she's also a librarian. I think she knew you were going to say that you were a librarian. Yeah. <laughs> that, that and also wear glasses similar to the ones on the, on the cup. So. <laughs> so it's perfect. Oh, thanks for sharing. Um, how about Mary? Hi. Um, so my mug that I have, I don't have to do anything except for try to get it into the light, is one of people may have seen these, the Starbucks You Are Here collection. Mm -hmm. um, so much like Akanksha mentioned earlier this week, I also worked at Starbucks back, back in a past life. And so I have a lot of Starbucks mugs in my collection. Um, but this one is particularly special because it is from the original Starbucks store in the Pike Place Market in Seattle. Um, I got it on my honeymoon um, while I was there. And I guess my one tip if you're interested in ever visiting that, if you've never been there before, is to go very early in the morning. It becomes a tourist nightmare uh, later in the day, but if you do go early in the morning, it's just all of the people who visit it as their regular store, and it's just a really chill, cool little little coffee shop, so. You know, I have not been to Pike Place. Um, I would love to go there one day. I, I just hear such wonderful things about the area. So thank you so much. Thanks to all of you for, for coming and, um, and sharing with us this morning. Um, I, see, I see a few more people out there. Anybody else bring your mug? Want to share your story? You sure? <laughs> well, uh, I got one. Okay, David. Hey, David. Oh, hi. Um, bed head because it's both. It was this. This starts at seven thirty. Tea mug, which I use. Uh oh, I think David's breaking up a little bit. Uh, he was exclusive, so it's freeze. Oh no. David, we really want to hear. You want to try the chat, David, to type your story? Did his camera go out? I think he's frozen. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> chat yeah. us your story. Oh, it's my tea mug exclusively for coffee. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, so yes, if, if um, I, I have a little confession to make this whole week, um, I've been sharing mugs and I have been drinking coffee, but I have also been drinking tea. So I, I literally am two-fisted caffeine drinker. Um, and and, and that's, that's pretty standard to get through the morning, <laughs> even when it's not um, a, a thrilling uh, open ed conference week. So, so um, we just, we're, we're going to wrap up here and this is our final show. Winnie, oh. um, it, do you have anything to say before we send everyone off? No, uh, I just wanted to know that David did share um, the rest of the story in chat. Oh yes, tell us. I hope David can share photos on here. Cause that would be awesome. I'd love yeah, to see. if you can get a photo, David. I love that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I also moved my coffee machine into my room because I've completely given up. Um, so it's back there now. It's about 10 steps away from me. Much easier. So, um, you have immediate access for, for the, ca the caffeine infusion. As soon as the mug goes dry. <laughs> Before we go, can I make a plug for the tea time at 1130? We'll be doing sure. a several journal activity. And um, Mahabali and Nia Samora will be there. And it's just really a good way of ending our conference. So 
Yeah, come with your pen and pencil. It is a perfect way to end your conference. Um, and I should note today is officially World Kindness Day, which I think, you know, is a value that, that this community um, uh, emanates and displays. So, um, so, so that will be, that can be one of the themes for our final day. It's also oddly Friday the 13th in this very strange 2020. Oh, so. <laughs> so, uh, what's that? Was that Winnie? Yeah, I just noticed that. Hmm. So all the all the irony. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us each day and, and making our mornings um, special. And we send you off for the final day. Enjoy, um, and what we hope to see you at the plenary, and definitely hope to see you next year wherever we are. So take Bye, care. Have a great day. Thank you everyone for joining us. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Do you want to end the recording, Winnie?